Welcome back to the Venus series. I'm so excited to have you here as we prepare for the grand finale of our journey through the chakra gates. In just one week's time, on June 21st, 2023, the moon will conjunct Venus at 14 degrees Leo, marketing the opening of the crown gate. It's a day filled with love and openness, and we have an incredible opportunity to elevate ourselves to the higher levels of love and consciousness. But before we delve into the preparations for this powerful gate, let's take a moment to reflect on our journey thus far. Each time the moon crossed Venus, we embarked on a transformative journey through each chakra gate. When Venus was the morning star, we walked from the crown to the root chakra, letting go of beloved jewelry pieces and facing our shadow self. And as Venus became the evening star, we began our ascent back through each gate, reclaiming our items and rising to our higher self. It has been an extraordinary journey. And now we find ourselves at the final gate, the crown gate. As we prepare for this special occasion, let's explore the herbs that can assist us in aligning and opening our crown chakra. However, I must emphasize that it's crucial to know your herbs, understand what you're taking, and always consult a physician for medical information. The information provided here is for entertainment purposes only. All right, so with that being said, the herbs that I feel are best suited for the crown chakra include one, frankincense. This sacred resin has a profound association with spirituality and has been used for centuries in religious and ceremonial practices. Frankincense is known for its purifying properties which cleanse the energy around us and create a conductive environment for deeper connections to the divine. By purifying the energetic field, frankincense helps us remove any barriers that may hinder our connection to higher realms and allows us to experience a greater sense of spiritual expansion and awareness. Two, lavender. Lavender is widely recognized for its calming and soothing properties. It creates a harmonious atmosphere that promotes relaxation, peace, and tranquility. When it comes to the crown chakra, lavender's calming effect can be a special benefit. By quieting the mind and reducing mental chatter, lavender helps us enter a state of stillness and receptivity. This state of calmness and openness allows us to access higher realms of consciousness, enabling us to receive divine wisdom and guidance. Three, sage. Sage has long been revered for its powerful cleansing and purifying qualities. When used in energetic practices, sage can help clear away stagnant and negative energies, including energetic blockages. By helping to remove blockages, sage facilitates a clearer and unobstructed connection to the higher realm. It supports the crown chakra's optimal functioning, allowing for free flow of spiritual energy and promoting a greater sense of enlightenment and spiritual growth. 4. Sandalwood Sandalwood holds a special place in spiritual and meditative practices. It has been used for centuries to enhance meditation and create a sacred atmosphere. Sandalwood's soothing aroma and grounding properties aid in creating a sense of inner peace and tranquility. In relation to the crown chakra, sandalwood assists in opening and balancing its energy center. Its properties help anchor our spiritual experiences, allowing us to access higher states of consciousness and connect with our divine nature. 
And finally, five, cloves. Cloves possess both protective and purifying attributes. They're known to dispel negative and promote a sense of safety and security. In the context of the crown chakra, cloves support the crown chakra in maintaining a state of clarity, wisdom, and spiritual connection. They help create an environment where the crown chakra can thrive and enables us to align with our highest potential. Now, let us turn our attention to the powerful goddess archetypes that embody the higher qualities of the crown chakra. It's important to note that we view these goddesses as archetypes rather than objects of worship. They serve as inspirational figures, providing us with a deeper understanding of the higher qualities that we can cultivate within ourselves. So, let's explore how the goddess archetypes can help us embody the higher energy of the crown chakra. The first goddess that we will discuss is, and I probably won't say these right, I'm trying with their names, okay? Chamunda. Chamunda is a powerful goddess in Hindu mythology associated with the fierce aspect of Devi, the Divine Mother. As an archetype, Chamunda represents the embodiment of divine wisdom, spiritual power, and liberation. By connecting with the energy of Chamunda, we can tap into our own inner strength and courage to face our fears, transcend limitations, and embrace our true spiritual nature. Chamunda reminds us to release attachments to ego and worldly desires, allowing us to experience the boundless awareness and unity of the crown chakra. The second goddess that we will discuss, and I might not say this right either, Caridwen. Caridwen is a Celtic goddess often associated with transformation, intuition, and the pursuit of knowledge. As an archetype, Caridwen embodies the wisdom that comes from deep inner reflection and spiritual insight. By connecting with the energy of Caridwen, we can access our innate intuition, expand our consciousness, and embrace the transformative power of the crown chakra. Keratin encourages us to trust our own inner guidance and embrace the continuous process of self-discovery and spiritual growth. And finally, the last goddess that I want to discuss is the Greek goddess Athena. In Greek mythology, Athena is known as the goddess of wisdom, courage, and inspiration. As an archetype, Athena represents the qualities of intellect, insight, and higher wisdom that are associated with the crown chakra. And Athena's birth from the crown chakra of Sahasara, according to yogic teachings, symbolizes her connection to the divine consciousness and perfect wisdom. By invoking the energy of Athena, we can tap into our own inner wisdom, expand our intellectual capacities, and align our thoughts with higher truths. Athena encourages us to embrace our innate intelligence and utilize it in service to our spiritual evolution and to the greater good. By connecting with these goddess archetypes, we can draw inspiration and guidance to embody the higher energy of the crown chakra. Each goddess represents different aspects of wisdom, courage, transformation, and spiritual power which are essential qualities for embracing the expansive consciousness and unity associated with the crown chakra. Through meditation, visualization, or simply studying the stories and symbols associated with these goddesses, 
we can integrate their qualities into our own lives, allowing us to embody the divine essence of the crown chakra and align with our higher selves. Remember, the goddess archetypes are not to be worshipped, but rather viewed as mirrors reflecting the divine qualities that reside within each of us. Finally, let's call upon the assistance of the archangels who can support us in our crown chakra energy. I want to emphasize that these goddesses and angels are not exclusive, and I would love to hear your perspective on other goddesses and archangels that you think resonate more with the crown chakra in the comments below. So, Let's explore how each of these archangels can assist us in utilizing our crown chakra energy. Archangel Uriel. Archangel Uriel is often referred to as the angel of illumination and wisdom. By invoking Archangel Uriel, we can tap into the energy of clarity and enlightenment. Uriel assists us in deepening our spiritual path and gaining a broader perspective on our journey. When working with our crown chakra energy, Archangel Uriel can help us access our intuitive wisdom and receive divine guidance. Uriel's presence brings a sense of inner knowing and assists in expanding our spiritual awareness. By connecting with Archangel Uriel, we can align our thoughts and perceptions with higher truths, allowing the crown chakra to function at its highest potential. And Archangel Sandalphon. Archangel Sandalphon is associated with music, prayers, and the connection between earth and the divine realms. When working with our crown chakra energy, invoking Archangel Sandalphon can assist in bridging the gap between the physical and spiritual dimensions. Sandalphon's energy helps to enhance our spiritual communication, allowing us to receive messages from the higher realms more clearly. By connecting with Archangel Sandalphon, we can strengthen our spiritual connections and open ourselves to receive divine inspiration. Sandalphon's presence encourages us to express ourselves authentically and align our actions with our spiritual truth. Both Archangel Uriel and Archangel Sandalphon support us in utilizing our crown chakra to its fullest potential. They provide guidance, clarity, and a deeper connection to the divine. By invoking these archangels and inviting their assistance, we can enhance our spiritual journey, deepening our connection to the higher realms and embody the wisdom and enlightenment associated with the crown chakra. Remember that these archangels are always available to help and support us. When we call upon their energy, whenever we need guidance or deeper connection to our spiritual self, they are always there to help and to listen. As we approach the crown gate, I invite you to join me in preparing our minds, bodies, and spirits for this incredible experience. Let's cultivate the qualities of the crown chakra and embrace the love and harmony that the moon conjunct Venus can bring. Remember, on this day, we're all more open to love and understanding. Take a moment to express your love to those around you, for they will hear and feel your words more deeply than ever before. Focus on aligning your thoughts with the feeling of love in your heart, and together we can elevate to higher levels of love and consciousness. I cannot wait to journey with you through the crown gate where I will reclaim my crown ring and my fancy hair. Until then, let's prepare ourselves using the crown herbs, connecting with the goddess archetypes, 
and invoking the archangels. Thank you for joining me on this incredible Venus series journey. Don't forget to tune in for our final video when Venus goes retrograde in July as we reflect on our transformative journey and celebrate our growth. And feel free to share your thoughts, experiences, and any other goddesses or archangels that you feel resonate with the crown chakra in the comments below. Together, we can continue to explore and expand our understanding of these beautiful energies. Until next time, sending you love and blessings on your path to self-discovery and enlightenment. Stay tuned. Stay open and keep shining your divine light.